Futsal has evolved greatly in the last decade, primarily due to a change in the rules, which has made the game more dynamic. Today, it is one of the most popular sports in Brazil, making it appealing for both players and spectators. The evolution has touched all aspects of futsal training, including the physical, technical, tactical, and psychological aspects. In high-level futsal, success or failure in competition can be attributed to the training elements to which the players are subjected. Futsal training should be organized in a global fashion, with the objective of reaching the highest performance possible through a complete training regimen. Futsal training can be defined as the combination of procedures and methods put into practice to raise the player to physical, technical, tactical, and psychological plenitude. To make this possible, one should outline the proposed objectives in a coaching plan. It can be said that futsal training consists of components that are all interrelated, such as the technical and tactical elements, which have an ever more important significance in the positive outcome of competition. The structure of futsal training can be divided into six areas. Physical. The physical element is one that includes the methods used both for the development of physical resistance and coordination. Technical. The technical element is a collection of activities and teachings that the player assimilates, developing and consolidating the technical fundamental with the maximum amount of efficiency and the least amount of effort. Tactical. The tactical element is a collection of procedures that will assure that the player and or team uses the most appropriate tactical options for each match situation or for each type of opponent. Psychological. The psychological element is a part of the futsal training that, considering individual, hereditary, and genotypic characteristics, as well as assimilated influences from the environment or phenotype, help the player to tolerate the training sessions and reach his maximum potential through the strengthening of his will. Clinical. The clinical element consists of the therapeutic properties of general medicine and specific properties of sports medicine. Administrative. The administrative element is a collection of administrative measures that aim to provide the necessary support so that the other elements can be fulfilled with the most efficiency and effectiveness possible. Technical training, which should be an integral part of the coaching plan from the outset, can be defined as a structured sequence of exercises that have the goal of learning, forming, perfecting, and refining the specific technical skills of futsal. Technique is the performance of all skills of the game and the skills that the player requires in order to become a complete player. Directed at performance with maximum efficiency and minimum effort. As the individual assimilates personal technique, he perfects himself, making the movements automatic, performing them without thinking, enabling himself, therefore, to focus his attention on the tactical elements of the game. Two aspects are very important and should be emphasized both when developing and perfecting his skills. 1. Bilateral symmetry is performing the technical fundamentals of futsal with both feet. 2. These skills should always be trained within the context of a game situation. Technical mastery is an important requirement for good tactical understanding and performance. Because a technically sound player is able to dedicate his thoughts and actions to the basics of the game, such as weeding the positioning of his teammates and opponents, and making the appropriate decisions for the various situations as they occur during the match. Technical fundamentals in futsal are the following. Passing, ball reception, ball movement, shooting, heading, dribbling, faking, and basic defense fundamentals. These fundamentals are just as relevant for the players who play on attack as for the goalkeeper, taking into consideration the game's rule modifications, 
that have made the goalkeeper an integral participant with an active role during the entire game. It is important for the goalkeeper to also participate in the technical training of the team. The most common used methods are the following, in the form of a circuit, in the form of a game, in a real game situation, and individually. We will now go to a detailed description of each fundamental of futsal.